Thank you, friends. Uh, today I'm going to show a little uh, Ted Green move. Uh, it's very short. It's a contrary motion line. It starts on an A note here and goes down. There's a little five at the end. Just down the scale with a little five chord at the end. And then there's this first note splits into two and goes up the scale. And then as things develop, some more voices come in. Uh, first one, then two, then three, then four, then five at the very end. So here's how it goes. I'll play it again. Okay. Now there's a couple of things about my fingerings that I want to show you. Um, this is nothing much, then we have a little minor third, then, oops, sorry, missed it by one. Those are all pretty conventional. Uh, then we get to this chord here, it's an E, nine chord with a five, 11 in the melody. You could play it like this. In the heat of the moment, I often play it like this, where I double stop those two notes with the tip of one finger. This is a Ted Green technique. And then I do the same thing here with these, uh, the D and G strings are being tip double stopped. Um, it could be done this way as well. I just find it easier to grab that. You can do other things when you get started with this. You can play something like this. And then. Something like that where you can get this basic movement and then embellish it. This is um, a little passage uh, that Ted Green wrote out um, in the key of A with an A major scale going down, little five chord at the end, and then that. So it's basically a diatonic chord move, uh, which would be suitable, I think, for intros and outros or any any passage that. Um, uh, kind of you want to have a flow through the key to completion so for instance you might say two five and then one as an ending for instance Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, the, I'm going to try and figure out how to embed the short little uh, grid, um, picture grid of this movement um, so you can look at it as well while I'm explaining it. All right, take care.